All right. Well, it looks like we are live. I'm going to be checking here to make sure that everything is good because, hey, it's Monday. And, um, you know, it's the first of the week. We're in the middle of the month, right? Uh, we're winding down summer. In fact, uh, a lot of kids have actually been going back to school already. Uh, hard to believe, but man, it is back to school time. And uh, that's what we want to talk about. Some of the great things. I've got some products that we're going to uh, to open up today to do a little bit of unboxing and uh, do a little experiment. I've got uh, an iPad that is completely discharged. It's uh, been sitting in my backpack and uh, it it is sitting at zero. So I'm going to need to uh, connect that one up uh, to some power here. And we've got that. Uh, we've got some products we're going to do a little bit of unboxing and take a look at that. Uh, we've got the lightning and USB. And uh, so with that, I am going to be checking this here. Let's make sure that everything is as it should be. And uh, life is good. Yes, indeed. Life is good. It is Monday. I am D. Scott. I'm going to turn the volume down. Whew. All right. So we are good. Hey, you know, the first thing that uh, I really wanted to get uh, into talking about was these cables. You know, I've got to actually I've got a few sets here. Um, this is the uh, uh, USB-C to a lightning. And, um, you know, with a, a lot of what uh, get some better light here. So, um, you know, my my son is using uh, uh, my wife's lightning cable right now because his cable is is I don't know what happens. He is tough on cables. They just go bad. And uh, so we always need cables. So when I looked at these and I saw this coming in the three pack and these are the 10 foot uh, three meter cables. And I like those because actually on the wall, I, I put in an, uh, the outlet that has the uh, USB power out. So I can be able to just plug right in. You know, it's really handy when people come over and you've got some cords, but you can't be using the short cords. You have to have those long cords, the three meter, the 10 foot long cables, just like this one. Uh, and so I've got that highlighted in the carousel. Uh, Fatorm here, we've got these cables in the three pack. And uh, then I also have uh, these, which is the two pack. And this has the, uh, this is the uh, 20 watt fast charging cable with the USB-C blocks. Now those are the new ones that you see a lot with Amazon or with uh, Amazon, with Apple products. Is, is that everything's moving away from the old style uh, USB, whatever they were, two. Now they're a USB C and uh, and they're they're nice. I like them because you don't have to worry about which way they flip. Uh, the connections are very secure. Uh, in fact, I was waiting for a phone that came out with that. Uh, and so I got the phone. So this is so we've got the three pack with the 10 meter cables and we have the a two pack that has the block and the uh, lightning cables as well. So uh, this is the 20 watt fast charger. Now it also got the 32 watt uh, dual port. Uh, this one is really cool because not only do you have the old school school, I guess it's the USB 3, uh, 3.0, you also have the USB C, which is fabulous because we're still we're in this uh, uh, transitional environment from the USB 3.0 to the USB C. Personally, I like the USB Cs. I think they they work really well. The data transfer, the charging, everything is really good on those. And uh, so we're we're uh, kind of in that transition. So we're going to go through an an opening, and uh, we're going to take a look at those. We also have uh, so we've got. Uh, uh, Fatorm's products. We're going to take a look at those. We've also got this uh, meat thermometer because it's still uh, summer barbecue here. And uh, actually, in my family, you know, we barbecue probably every month out of the year. Rain, shine, snow, whatever it is, wind, rain. We are out there uh, at the grill uh, cooking all the time. And I had some meat thermometers that uh, were working pretty good, but I didn't quite trust them. And, you know, you buy, you spend the money, 
you buy some good meat, you put it out on the grill, you're not quite sure, it's overcooked, it's undercooked. Uh, any way you look at it, you want to be able to be sure. And so we're going to take a look. We're going to unbox that as well. We've got some other things uh, that we put in there that we'll take a look at, but I really want to get on to, um, let's just go ahead and start with uh, opening up and unboxing the uh, Lightning USB-C to Lightning cables from Fetorm here. Uh, these are, I, I like the packaging. It's, uh, it's solid. It didn't, you know, one of the things you have to worry about, I guess, in today's world, uh, I worry about, I think about at least is, um, the amount of packaging. And then, and so I think for these, we've got some, we've got a reasonable amount. And so let's, uh, you know, I've got another item that I, that is in the carousel and that is this Gerber curve. I do like the curve. Got my little blade. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Fatorm USB-C to Lightning Cable 3-Pack 3-Meter form. And so we've got that. And I'm just going to do a quick opening on here. And you can see inside, not a lot of extra packaging, but we've got the three cables that look pretty good in here. And so you can see we've got the diagram here on the package, and it is a perfect, the uh, USB-C to the uh, lightning. So I took it out, and this is the way they come. So they kind of came in this little package. Got all three of them in there, open on the top, closed on the bottom, uh, all connected up. And I'm just going to pull one of these lightning cables out. So, again, this is the Fatorm. It comes in the three pack. This is the three meter, 10 foot USB C to lightning pack. A little elastic band holding that on there. And uh, so that is the cable. Just kind of stretch that out. You know, feels flexible enough. I'm going to roll that out. And so that is the USB-C 3 to Lightning. And I have over here, I actually have another USB block. So I'm going to plug the USB 3 in there. And let's bring in, let's bring in my, <laughs> so I have this iPad mini. And uh, it's a handy one to use. We'll plug that in. And, uh. I'll just start to charge them right away. Now, I'm gonna, what I want to do is I want to save uh, some of this charging. I don't want to charge it all here with this cable because I'm really interested in the, the um, fast charge, the quick charge. And that's in one of the other products that we have here. But I just wanted to make sure that that was working. So these, this cable is good right out of the box. And uh, so what I found, again, is, as I said, my... Uh, all of my family, except me, are uh, Apple products. So the one Apple product that I have is the uh, iPad Mini. I also have the I also have uh, that uses the Lightning plug. I have uh, also an iPad Pro, but I like the um, I like these ten meter cables. This packaging came out well, and my son just seems to run through the cables wears them out and uh then he's always coming in and either taking mine or using my wife's or something like that and just to be able to have some extra cables on hand is always a great idea so these are the fatorms uh, usb-c to a uh, lightning cable in the three pack again i kind of appreciate the the minimalist packaging here i'm going to put this back into the plastic bag and keep those all together. And so uh, USB cables, again, you, you just can't have, really, you just can't have enough of them because you're going to lose them. You're going to, I want one in my car. I like the long ones in the car because you can go into the back seat from the uh, plug. Uh, we also have those here in the house. As I said, I've got the, the USB 
plug on a wall that I can plug into and uh, either for myself or if I have guests over, we've always got the plugs available to be able to charge up people's products. You just, it, uh, when they're new, I tell you, all the devices, they last forever. Those, the, bat the new batteries, but as you use them, uh, as you add more apps and as you're a power user like I am, I've got tons of things running on my devices. Uh, the batteries don't last as long, so I always need uh, to top off. And so keeping cables available is always a great idea. And if you have the extras, then uh, your family will always be happy that you're around because they know you got the good source. So that is the, the three meter, the 10 foot three pack, the Torm USB-C to lightning cable. This is a great one to purchase. Uh, I've got it highlighted there in the carousel. And so make sure that uh, you add this. Cl go ahead and click on it. Uh, take a look at the product. Add it to cart. Get these delivered. Uh, they come fast and uh, always have cables available. Let's take a look at the next one here. I want to take a look at the twin pack. So here we have the twin pack on the... Uh, of the Fatorms, uh, again, this is the fast charge cable two pack. So it's got the uh, blocks, got the charging blocks and has the cables in there. And as you can see, it's got a nice diagram on here and show you what you're looking for. So in this case, again, this is the, uh, the USB-C charging block with the lightning cable. So this is the twin pack and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And let's highlight that in the cable in the box there. So we've got the uh, we've got the twin USB-C to lightning. So the charging blocks uh, we seem to to lose those, but uh, at, over the years we've kind of accumulated some of the USB 3.0 blocks. But the new ones, the USB-C blocks, are a little bit more of a premium. Uh, this is a really good value. I encourage you to, again. Click on this, take a look at uh, the product site, and but let's go ahead and open this one up. So this twin pack, and there's a little more packaging material in here. So take a look. We've got that. So we're going to go ahead and open these up and um, just kind of get that, get that first look. Whoa, okay. So we got the charging blocks on one side and you got the cables on the other. All right. So, and we've got a little card saying, thank you for choosing Fatorm. So uh, that is included in the box. Let's take a look at the cables. So again, we've got a little elastic that's holding them together. Everything looks good on the cables. And so those would come in the back of the packaging here. And then in the front, we've got the USB-C charging blocks. And so you can see they've got the smaller connector, the USB-C. And then they have a, a plastic protective wrap around the finish. So this really fits well with a lot of, of the products that we have where the uh, surfaces have been protected uh, for shipping during with the um, protective and then we've got the USB-C cable. So we'll take a look at that. I do like the coloring and the flexibility on this. And so the USB-C plugs in and it snaps in. Some of the problems that I've had with some of the USB-C cables is they don't have that positive click. Let's take a listen. Yeah, that's good. That's a good positive click. So again, this is the Fatorm. Uh, this is the, uh, we're taking a look at the twin pack on the 20 watt fast charging cable. And so I'm gonna plug that into my power up over here. And let's plug that into the iPad mini with the lightning connector there. Uh, that connected really fast. That uh, just started right up. So I really like Again, these uh, Fatorum cables, uh, having both the uh, block and the cable is helpful. 
keep those around because the the USB-C blocks are going to be a little bit more hard to find uh, as I've as we were uh, replacing iPhones uh, for my daughter and uh, the new charging blocks were coming out and to try to find the USB-C blocks well, was, first of all they were hard to find and then I'll just say they were a little bit overpriced uh, when we were at the at the um, at the retail store and so uh, being able to find some that uh, are reasonably priced these are uh, good value but I, I, I like these uh, USB-C blocks I like these cables. Let's put those back in. And again, we've got the uh, from Torm. We got the thank you card. Thank you for uh, purchasing that. Always a great idea. So I'm gonna put that back into the box here. So this is the Torm's uh, twin pack. So we've got the twin pack, USB C to Lightning. And again, we're doing a little charge uh, test with the um, Lightning cable to my iPad mini, which has been completely depleted, depleted of power. I left it in my backpack. Uh, it sat in there for about a week or two, actually, before I pulled it out, so it's completely dead. And uh, the other thing we want to take a look at here, and I'm going to highlight this one. This is the 32-watt um, dual port of fast charging. And so this has the, um, the USB-C to a lightning as well. And um, so we've got the USB-C power port uh, with the th uh, 3.0 charge as well. Uh, so you can you can do two devices. This one I think is going to be really good for travel. So let's take a look at Torm's product here. All right. So in this case, this is the 32 watts. So we've got uh, uh, a six meter. No, six foot and a three foot. So a two meter and a one meter. And uh, I learned in the past that those uh, blocks are going to be on the top and the cables are going to be in the back as we pull it out. So I take that out. And again, uh, let's see what we've got. So we've got a very nice little thank you card from Fatorm for the product and we've got the little zip tie cable manager here um and on those longer cables that's really nice to have uh, when i'm winding them up putting them back in or putting them into my backpack i like to have those uh, cables tied together so that they're not uh, all loose when i get them around so let's take a look and see what we've got in here so let's start with the charging block so again, it's got the uh, plastic wrap, and you can see it's got the Fatorm name brand on there, plastic on there to protect it. And it is the USB-C uh, connector on top and the USB 3.0. So you can actually charge uh, two devices at the same time here. And so that's the benefit of having the 32 watt as opposed to the 20 watt. And this looks like it's nice for travel because you've got the, uh, plug that folds in there so it's not going to poke into things on your backpack makes a nice little snap again that's what i liked about the other connector was that it was very positive when we connected that um, usb in there so let's take a look and see where we're at okay and it looks like um we also have in here in the pack and that's white on white so it's you can see it comes out we've got a little cable manager with uh, a peel and stick foot there. So uh, perhaps for on your desk or wherever you might be using your um, cables, uh, you've got this, it's a very soft, uh, soft rubber and we can manage the cables in there. So let's take a look and see. So we've got the block and then uh, let's take a look. So this comes with the three cables. So uh, USB, to lightning one of the most popular cables in my house and then we've got ah the usb c to lightning so this is going to be the second most popular and now that we've got the usb c blocks we're going to be able to connect on there as well and then 
we've got a USB-C to USB-C. And so this is going to be perfect for my iPad Pro and for my Samsung phone because uh, both of those charge off of the USB-C uh, cable. And then also uh, being able to plug into my laptop, which has the USB, uh, USB-C, I can go directly from there into uh, to my phone or to my iPad. So this is a really nice set. I just, I think this is fabulous. So we've got the cable management system uh, block on there. We've got the charging block, and this is the 32 watt with both the USB 3.0 and the USB-C. So I can plug both of those in at the same time um, and really set up well for traveling, be able to plug that in there. And then I've got, these three cables and it's pretty much everything that you need this is like the perfect setup usb 2.0 to lightning usb c to lightning and then the usb c to usb c so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this uh i'm going to take this this lightning or this block and i'm going to take the lightning cable the USB-C cable, and let's just unwind that one, and I'm going to plug that in. Let's see. Yep. See again, it has a nice positive connection. Let's plug that in and go over to the iPad. All right. And so we've got 1% uh, charge on that. And so while we look at some of the other devices, uh, some of the other things that we've got, I am going to put these back into the box. We've got the, um, and the little cable management tie that goes on there. And I'm gonna put these back into the box, back into this box. So what we've taken a look at from Fatorm was again, we just started with this three pack. Uh, so the, the three meter, 10 foot three pack of USB-C to lightning cables. Uh, we go through a lot of these. I like to keep them around the house because my family always needs them. Uh, they're gonna lose them. We want them in the car. We're gonna take them traveling with us. Uh, I like to keep them in my backpack separate from what I use uh, in the office and so um, the three pack is great then we took a look at the 20 watt uh, dual pack here with the two charges USB-C to lightning really really nice uh, setup here and then we've got the um, the one that we're using right now we're charging up this iPad uh, as we go through some other things we're using the 32 watt a dual port, uh, USB 3.0 and USB-C. This is the one that comes with the three different cables. So you've got the USB 3.0 to Lightning. We've got the USB-C to Lightning. And then also the USB-C to USB-C. Fabulous set of cables. Um, everything I like about these uh, are, is uh, from the packaging, presentation, uh, minimal packaging material that's used to protect them. And uh, yeah, won't, uh, I don't have to throw a lot of stuff away. And a nice little thank you card from Fatorm. So we thank you uh, for watching that. And we're going to let these charge up a little bit while we uh, continue to look at some other products. So right now, one of the things that I mentioned is, is that it's summer barbecue season. But for us, we barbecue 12 months out of the year. Um, we've done pork, beef, chicken, uh, brat dogs. And I've been using one of these waterproof thermometers. And uh, this has saved us a lot. Saved a lot of time, a lot of, of worry. And uh, so I've got the plastic wrap off of this one. But I've been using one of these. So this is the Coolerner. Uh, brand waterproof therm uh, meat thermometer 
uh, been using this a lot. And so let's just take a look. So it does come with the user instructions. A cheat sheet there. So you've got your user instructions. This is really handy. You've got uh, a little more detailed uh, meat thermometer guide here. So you can look at the different uh, types of meat that you're going to cook and the correct temperature to cook it to the exact level that you want. And uh, so let's set that aside. And then let's take a look. What happens when we open up? So you get the waterproof thermometer, you open it up, it looks just like it says. Uh, one of the things I liked about this is that it's got the battery. And this is actually an additional battery because um, there's one that's included in the thermometer. So let's take that out. And so you've got a um, little guide here that tells you, uh, but this thermometer comes fully loaded with the battery and so when you open it up that turns it on and you can uh, differentiate between uh, Fahrenheit let's go Fahrenheit here and Celsius so depending on uh, which uh, system you're using uh, you can uh, easily change between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius on there, but the battery comes preloaded on this. And so uh, when you open it up, it turns on, but just in case uh, your battery runs out and you're still barbecuing, they've actually provided you with an additional battery uh, included in that. So that is all ready to go. Uh, easy to change the battery. Just open up the little port on the back and put the battery in. So this one again, uh, is uh, one that I've been been using, and uh, I like that it folds up. If it's in my pocket, I just uh, after I use it, you know, I, I just wipe it down, and then uh, and then it's easy to wash. This is waterproof. Uh, don't put it in the dishwasher, but uh, you can wash it wash it off. Uh, make sure it's all clean before you put it away for the next time. And uh, um, so we've used it on a pork roast. We've used it on tri-tip beef, used it for uh, brat dogs. Uh, I've used it for chicken. The, the brats were the ones that were really more surprising to me because, again, you've got this. It's right printed right on here. You've got your uh, temperatures. And so, uh, you know, we're really looking at, at, like, chicken and the brats. I wanted to get those up to 165. and when I you put them in there, you're looking from the outside. You don't know. You have no idea. So maybe you're going to cut one of those brats open and take a look at the inside and and think, is it or is it not ready to go? You don't want to overcook them. You don't want to undercook them. You want it to be just right. I was able to, to take out and, and open uh, this thermometer, put it into the brat, and immediately tell where I was at on the scale and and. Uh, whether they're ready to cook or not. And I wasn't slicing them open, which uh, is going to end up making them dry because uh, all the, the juice uh, boils out of them then. So this coloner a meat thermometer has been a fabulous one for our family. It's uh, saved meat, saved time. You know, it, we're using the gas grill. So I've got the propane bottles and uh, so I'm not uh, wasting the propane. It's going exactly where I need it, when I need it. Uh, I really enjoyed using the Culliner um, meat thermometer. So uh, one of the things is you turn it, open it up to turn it on. And um, so you can, again, you can, you can calibrate it for uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. And there's also... A light, a backlight. So if it's a little dark, uh, you can hit the uh, backlight on there as well and turn that on. And fits well on your finger. It's a great little tool. We've really been enjoying using this thermometer. Uh, again, this is the Culliner brand thermometer. Came packaged with the extra battery in the box here so came nicely packaged and really again the minimalist uh, amount of packaging they needed 
has the user instructions, which is pretty straightforward, and then uh, a little guide for the meat thermometer, uh, meat temperatures, and their thank you card right on top. This is the Kulliner waterproof meat thermometer. Uh, I definitely recommend that uh, I have highlighted it here in the carousel. Recommend you take a look at that, add that onto your cart. Um, if you know somebody that's doing barbecuing, uh, doing any grilling, this would be a great gift um, to go ahead and just add it to your cart, send it out to them, be the hero. These are designed specifically for uh, meats and it has the gauges, it has the, um, the grid right on there so you can look to see uh, what type of meat you're cooking and what the temperature should be so that it's safe to eat and uh, cooked to the way that you like it. So this is the Culliner Meat Thermometer. So again, recapping where we're at, we just talked about the thermometer. We've talked about, we did a little unboxing for uh, the Fatorms uh, products here. We've got the, the USB uh, product that we are charging up the iPad with right now. Let's take a look and see where that's at. Hey, 7%. That went from 0 to 7% just in these few minutes. And then the 20-watt dual pack uh, with the charging blocks and the cables. And then just the cables. Sometimes you don't need the blocks, but the USB-C blocks that uh, we have with the Torm's 20-watt uh, uh, are very handy. You're going to be needing those as things make the transition. And then this one that has both the USB-C uh, and the USB 3.0. So those are the Fatorum products. That's what we've been looking at so far. And, you know, I just, uh, I'm going to scroll down to uh, somewhere in here. I have got this little Gerber curve. I think, you know, this is one of those things. I, I keep it on my key ring. Um, so this one does have a little blade, which is perfect for opening up those little Amazon boxes that come. It uh, has the file, a couple of different size screwdrivers on there, including one that really works well uh, for the um, Phillips type style head uh, screws and uh, the flathead. Uh, it does have uh, a built-in bottle opener right there. And uh, then this little... Clip. It uh, works well on your keychain. I've got it. Uh, you can tell that uh, the paint, this thing was originally all blue on the sides here when it came in. I carry this thing around every day. I use it so it's beating against my keys and in my pocket, and I use it. So the Gerber Curve is also one of those great gifts. Um, open up those Amazon boxes. Uh, take the plastic wrap off of your uh, other boxes. Uh, I really enjoy using the Gerber Curve. I've been using this one for a long time. In fact, uh, what happened was I had one of these and then I lost it. And so instantly, add to cart, uh, click on that, add to cart, send it, had it sent to me because I like having one of those available. And also, uh, I'm now highlighting the Phoenix flashlight. This little flashlight right here is so handy. Uh, it's amazing the amount of times that I use this. Uh, you know, we it's summertime, it's warm, we're out in the evening. I don't always want to be using my cell phone battery to light things up. And, and it's actually more convenient. So again, it, in my pocket, I've got the little Gerber Curve and I have got the Phoenix light. This light actually uses just a single uh, AAA battery. So it is uh, very convenient. Uh, some of the uh, specialty flashlights use uh, very expensive batteries. And uh, so when they run out, it's kind of a pain. Uh, but this little Phoenix flashlight has been going around with me again for quite a while. Uh, the paint it, uh, used to be a much brighter blue, but because I use this one all the time, I carry it with me all the time. Um, it shows those signs of love, just like the uh, skin pony. And uh, it does have three uh, light settings. So you, when you, you twist it on and it comes on in a lower setting, and then you turn it again and it goes up a little bit higher and then to the highest setting. 
And so that allows you to get the light that you need without always using maximum use on your battery. So this is the Phoenix F-E-N-I-X flashlight. Uh, I have it highlighted in the carousel. You definitely want to click on that. Take a look at that. Add that to cart. Makes a great gift. Um, and, you know, we're talking about some things about going back to school, which is, of course, things like Fatorm's uh, cables. You want to have uh, charging cables around. Uh, have them at home. Have them in your backpack. Uh, have them at your desk. Uh, have them in the car. Have cables available. Get things like the little Phoenix flashlight and um, put that in your backpack. Put that on your key ring. And uh, just like I do, I've got the uh, this little Gerber Curve. This is just a little handy set. Um, you know, you're looking under the cover. You're, you're looking for things behind and checking on the connections on my um, uh, stereo system here. Uh, there's so many little things where you just go, if I had a light, you could see better. Well, you've got it right here. So the Phoenix flashlight, the Gerber curve, Fatorm's cables, the Mi thermometer by a culiner. These are all fabulous things that they have. Now, there's a few other things that I keep here uh, in the office. Uh, actually, you can see behind me, I've got, uh, I've got a... Uh, little ukulele there that is the luna tattoo you want to talk about a little bit of summer fun uh <laughs> grab yourself a ukulele ukuleles are so easy to play um i'm just gonna back out here and uh they come they come in a standard tuning. So like with one finger, you can play. Use a few more fingers. Yep. There you go. So uh, the ukulele is a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can play a little bit of blues. Yep. This is the uh, little tattoo ukulele. Very portable. Great musical instrument. Great for summers. Go to the beach, go to the park, uh, go to the ocean, go to the mountains. Take your ukulele with you. And uh, another thing that uh, I uh, use regularly, uh, and I don't have it in here now, but I'm highlighting the uh, Ghost Sports Classic Cornhole set. Uh, I, uh, we were just, uh, we just had, my daughter is getting married. So we had her a wedding shower, the bridal shower yesterday. And, uh, because of all of the, uh, concerns that we have about virus transmissions and so forth, we had it outside. We had, we brought the furniture out. We had couches and chairs and tables, and it was beautiful with the big area rugs out. And, uh, we had a great time. Uh, but we also set up some games, and one of them was corn. How can you not have an outdoor event without cornhole? So uh, we got out the cornhole set, and uh, people were just having a good time. We were able to interact, uh, but still maintain some uh, social distancing, which is a great idea. And so these are just some of the fun things that you can do uh, with some very simple things. Get the, get the barbecue going. Check the meat with your uh, thermometer. Um, uh, play uh, cornhole, just have fun with uh, other folks this summer. So, um, you know, and I mentioned that uh, I do use an uh, an iPad Pro, and so that's how I actually manage all of the uh, Amazon Live videos. I do use my iPad Pro. It is a fabulous device. Uh, one of the things that I like about the iPad Pro, especially, is is that um, the the USB or the Bluetooth connection is very easy, so I can hook up like my Logitech keyboard to it. 
And it actually has, uh, it actually, the iPad Pro, this version, these now actually take mouse input. So I have a travel mouse, a USB, you know, a, a Bluetooth a travel mouse, another Logitech product that I uh, connect up. And so the iPad has now really become the complete replacement for my laptop when I travel. So I don't need to take something very bulky. I can just take uh, something very light, which is my iPad, and uh, be able to have all, all all the access that I need. I can use my, my cellular hotspot to connect it uh, to the internet if I'm outside of Wi-Fi. Uh, but the Wi-Fi connects up really well, uh, performs really well, and I'm able to do all of the work, uh, store things on cloud drives so I can access the files and have what I've got stored on the machine, on the iPad Pro itself, and be able to do all the work that I do and uh, not be limited by geography or having to carry some bulky device and the batteries on the iPad Pro last a long time. So even with constant use uh, and being connected through uh, Wi-Fi, using the Bluetooth keyboard, using the Bluetooth mouse, I'm able to do all the work that I need to, all of my word processing, spreadsheets, uh, graphic designs. Uh, I can do presentations. I do live videos, and so uh, just like this, I can do all of my live videos right from the iPad, and uh, for the convenience and the functionality, I really can't uh, recommend anything more than the iPad Pro. Uh, you're going to find great value in there. It's going to do all the productivity things that you need, and if you're into some gaming stuff, there's some uh, you can have access to games as well. But for me, it's really about having a lightweight, portable device that uh, is functional with all of the business tasks that I need. Uh, so if you're looking at a, a back to work, back to school, traveling, as we're getting out and, and moving around a little bit more, I don't think you can really uh, make a mistake in not in uh, buying the iPad Pro. If I lighted that here in the carousel as well, I definitely recommend that you consider uh, that as your next device, as opposed to upgrading or replacing your laptop. Um, I have just, uh, I was at that point where I was going to need to replace my laptop and, uh, you know, it's working good enough. But uh, when I saw the iPad that it took a mouse input that I could use the keyboard uh, that uh, I also got the um, the Apple Pencil to go with it. And, uh, you know, I do recommend that you get uh, the, the genuine article there. Uh, it just works so well. Everything, when you get Apple stuff, it integrates really well with itself, with all of the products. So um, iPad Pro is a great tool. Uh, we talked about the, uh, the, the um, Luna... Uh, ukulele, the tattoo version, the one that I have. We do take that around. It is fun to play, easy to play. Uh, talked about the, the uh, some of the different uh, items that are out there. Um, I've got some stuff highlighted in the carousel. Uh, I will put a plug in for my chord buddy. You can see I've got the guitar on the back. Uh, that Epiphone, that uh, uh, electric guitar back there, uh, this cord buddy fits on there very well. This is a part of the, the uh, cord buddy guitar learning system. So this fits on the acoustic, fits on the electric. They have different versions uh, for left-handed if, uh, if you're left-handed and play that way. Uh, they also have one that's uh, ready for the nylon string classical guitar or Spanish guitar. So that's the uh, has a little wider neck, has nylon strings, so it looks like a fishing line actually, uh, as opposed to the all metal strings that you find on uh, a standard acoustic guitar. Uh, and so this system lets you put this on the neck of the guitar, and then you use the buttons to play these four different chords. And then as you you learn the rhythm and strumming patterns you're able then to start to graduate and you actually remove the tabs. So I'm just gonna take off the, this is the D chord. This is the first one that you remove. 
and then you actually use your fingers on the strings. So you're using the buttons to strengthen your hand, you're learning the rhythm, and then you're using the, the, um, the, the tabs to do that, and then you pull those out, and you actually start using your fingers on the strings, and as you work through, you pull out the various tabs uh, until pretty soon you have uh, just your fingers on the strings, and uh, there is a, there's a whole uh, lesson plan book that comes with this. There's a song book. I think there's a hundred songs in that book that you can play with the chord buddy. And so it is a fabulous way to start learning uh, guitar. And so ukuleles are very nice because they're portable. They're relatively inexpensive. So many people already have guitars in their closets under the, uh, under the bed or out in the garage. You bring those in, uh, get a chord buddy, and uh, I guarantee you that you'll be starting to play uh, music right away, right away. Um, do get a tuner. Um, it's one of the things that the, you can add when you buy the chord buddy, but check that out. Check, uh, click on that. Uh, take a look at the chord buddy product. It is uh, made in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, Travis Perry was a, it was a um, Shark Tank winner. So he actually got a deal with Robert Herjavec. And uh, in the show, if you ever watch the uh, replay of that episode, Robert Herjavec started playing guitar right away. And he was uh, playing and Travis was singing. And so they're having a good time just playing music right away. So these are a lot of good things. I, uh, I just wanted to highlight again, I'm just going to go through and talk about the, uh, we were looking at the uh, Fatorum products today. We were looking at the, uh, the three pack for the um, three meter, 10 foot pack. And then uh, also this uh, dual pack with the USB-C blocks and the uh, USB-C to lightning cables. And then this one, which I just think is one of the best deals out there. If you take a look at this one, this is the uh, dual USB-C and USB 3.0 with the three different types of cables, USB-C to Lightning, USB 3.0 to Lightning, and USB-C to USB-C. These are a fabulous deals. And... Um, uh, so I've highlighted a few things in the carousel. I've just been having fun uh, talking with you. It was kind of fun to go through the unboxing. And then we did plug in that uh, USB, uh, the USB dual block uh, or dual where it's got the 3.0 and the USB-C. We plug that in. That's the 32 watt uh, dual port Fatorm uh, with the cable. And we plug that in to the iPad. And... So there we go. And I think we have ended this stream. Yeah. Well, let's see. Nope, we're going to go back to the stream. There we are. And uh, so with that, we have got this, uh, the, the, uh, we plugged this block in. We plugged it in. This was at zero. And uh, partway into this broadcast, after we uh, unboxed the Fatorum cables and the blocks, uh, I got it plugged in. We are now at 18%. So this one charged really fast. I'm really happy with uh, how these uh, Fatorum uh, uh, fast charging blocks are working. Because, um, you know, if you're like me, I get to the USB, uh, I get my uh, iPad out. Uh, I've forgotten to charge it, but I need to use it. So I don't have a lot of time, so I get it plugged in and uh, being able to see that it went from 0 to 18% in just a little bit of time that we've been talking here on uh, this broadcast of this Amazon Live. And uh, so I am D. Scott Smith, and I, I, I thank you for watching. Uh, I've had a lot of fun unboxing these products from Fatorum, from looking at the Kohlner, uh meat thermometer. Again, it's just something that we use. Uh, regularly, and then um, just some things that I keep on my key ring because uh, this this uh, curve from Gerber, this little multi tool, uh, has been fabulous. As well as my uh, Phoenix light, these are things that I use every day. I would love to go on and and share some more things. I think uh, later on uh, in some of these other broadcasts, 
I'm going to go through and tell you about the uh, MXL uh, microphones. So these are really good and they come a lot of different styles. Uh, this one happens to be uh, the Patriot edition. Uh, there's a lot of different colors and, um, and styles out there, but the 990 is a solid microphone. Uh, I'll have to do a different series, a different one where I talk about my AKG, uh, the K240 headphones. Oh my gosh, there's so many things, um, but we're running out of time for today. But I just really, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, click on these products. Take a look at the, uh, what Fatorum has to offer uh, in their cables. Get yourself some lightning, uh, USB-C to lightning, and get those USB-C blocks. You're going to be needing those uh, as more and more devices move toward that USB-C uh, format. Uh, just part of the process. you got to uh, move in and uh, update. And um, with that, I am going to sign off this broadcast. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure and follow and uh, make some comments. Happy to talk to you. Cheers.